Egon. Like, which one is it actually? It's a bit confusing to be honest. Recently, I've not had a lot of expectations for Nigerian movies, majorly because they've been doing so well right now. I mean, there are a lot of movies that have come out of cinema this year and they were pretty amazing, if I must say, they were amazing. I'm a bit lovers. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we're so glad to have you. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed and be a part of this growing community. So today we're going to be reviewing the movie called Egum. Did I pronounce that right? It's actually a Nigerian movie that was directed by Carmen Ike Okoro and was written by Kayode Kazum and Dario Laito. The movie was said to be released on the 10th of November, but the release date was postponed and it was later released on the 17th of November. And upon its release, the movie did so well in the cinema. I mean, it earned over 6.1 million naira during the weekend and it was even named the most watched Nigerian movie according to Cinema is a Beatles Association of Nigeria. The movie stars top actors and actresses in the Hollywood industry such as Ozaru Kwe, Kiduno Kike, Omomomi Dada, Latifa Dedimeji, Tomika Adoye, Vie, Ibrahim Yekin, also known as Itele the Icon and many others. I mean it was a star standard cast. So the movie is about how a juju package exposed the hidden lies and issues in a workplace. The opening scene showed um, Obi, played by Gideon Okeke, going through an emotional trauma. And it was later revealed in the movie that the, the root or the cause of his emotional trauma was planted in the workplace where he used to work. The movie was divided into various parts, each with a title. The last part, which was titled Virgins, was actually the longest and it was also the concluding part of most of the other issues discussed in the movie. But it majorly focused on Obi taking revenge on his ex-colleagues. However, there was a bit of a plot twist in this particular part which I found interesting. At the beginning, it was thought by the co-workers that it was Obi that sent the digital package to them, but it was later revealed that it was actually two colleagues in the office that did it. But let's talk about the main character here, which happens to be Gideon Okeke. Like, I haven't seen Gideon Okeke in a movie I've watched so far in a, like, in a long while. I've not seen the movie in a long while. And seeing this particular movie, I was like, oh yeah. And he's a good actor. Yes, an amazing actor. And he actually like delivered this role really well. Like The way he portrayed this character, the emotions he played, especially at, especially at the beginning. I mean, it brought about the intensity in the movie right from the beginning. Do you get what I mean? And yes, he played the role of a disgruntled individual who, who lost his job and because of that it affected his, his emotions and which led to like emotional trauma and going through a lot of things and some other things happened to him that you find out when you watch the movie no spoiler yet. so yeah i really love how he was able to like put his emotion in place and was it was just brilliant his acting was brilliant to be honest we actually played the role of of his wife she played the role of obi's wife and she was, really, she was not appearing in so many scenes, but in the scenes where she appeared, you could definitely see that yes, she definitely owned her role because she delivered so well in the role she played. And I would love to talk about Latif Adedimeji also. I mean, Latif Adedimeji is a phenomenal actor. Like, he plays every single role so perfectly, right? down from comedy to serious to thriller. Like, every role he has played for in movies that I've watched has been so amazing, not gonna lie. Seeing him in this particular movie, he played the role of someone who like had lost his job then he found a job in this new workplace unfortunately for him on the first day of his work he had to face this particular crisis but he was able to like also like bring his emotions into the movie and to be honest i really cannot say much about this acting because it was amazing i think that's one thing i really enjoyed about this particular movie it has to be with the acting of every character in the movie let's move on to what i don't like about the movie and what i like about the movie what i don't like about this movie one that's with delay of the police officers. I know they have to like take time to analyze the situation and everything, but it felt like they took more than enough time to like go in there and save the people that Obi was, should I say, attacking or taking revenge on. And yes, yeah, so I think that part are like, can you guys move on? Like, 
let's get this done secondly how or real the blood stains and gunshots were like it was given back in the days in hollywood movies like it felt so unreal i don't know it was just it was just made it was not really giving the old suspenseful emotion supposed to give the audience it was just me to be very honest also towards the end of the movie when when the police were able to get into the building obi was nowhere to be found like it didn't let us know where obi was like where did obi go to or maybe the writer was trying to like give us that suspense to have that thought that okay so what about obi so here's what i like about this movie i really love the cast let's not lie that's not like Kamat Paro, Kamat Jali. They actually did like they did a brilliant job in the cast. And I mean, every actor and every actress on the cast did a great job in delivering their various emotions and portraying their roles so brilliantly. The other thing I love about the movie is the plot twist. I really love how they brought about the plot twist and then we moved on to the vengeance of Obi. I think a lot about the movie has to be the cinematography. Everything was giving that suspense, even though I was the storyline was doing towards the middle was mid yeah <laughs> middle was mid but it was the cinematography was on point i really like that about the movie so now let's move on to the audience opinion so someone said i was able to watch the egon 2023 movie at the cinema my god the movie is a four over ten the idea made so much sense but they bottled it the amazing thing was the movie started so so good for like 30 minutes but along the line the movie became another thing ah okay but however someone had a different opinion the person said a classic advanced back day ah okay so yeah someone also had something to say but the person said it was talking about the character called bolu which was played by Oma Mumi Dada. The person said bolu is an unapologetic alpha female and seems empathic but it is a calculated trait just to get what she wants so yeah that's what people think about the movie however here's what i think about the movie i think i will give the movie a rating of 5.1 over 10 here is why listen listen here is why the movie was actually like interesting i was anticipating a lot during the movie's beginning i mean right from the beginning of the movie you would have said okay yes like i expect it's giving that ginger that yes it will begin to make sense but Towards the middle of the movie, movies like I was saying earlier, the earlier, movie felt mid. It was giving, I'm sorry to say, but like back in the days in Hollywood movies, it was not really, it was, it was just there to be very honest. And though, although, although, I really enjoyed the acting of the characters. I mean, they did a brilliant job, they did a good job. I actually, 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 funny enough, I actually recommend this movie to anyone that wants to see a movie, <laughs> to be honest, because even though the storyline towards the middle was kind of just there i still found the movie like very interesting to get and i really love that nigerian movies are like, going towards the aspect of actually bringing so much to the game they had great ideas but they bought with it yes they actually did add like good ideas for this movie and i can actually see from the storyline but i just expected more like expected better i can like, i really can't wait to see like them doing better in only movies to be honest because actually doing great jobs if i must say compared to back in the days actually doing brilliant jobs so if you've seen this particular movie what do you think about the movie like give it your rating in the comment section let us know what you think about the movie if you like us to review another movie let us know in the comment section i would definitely love to do that for you guys <laughs> so make sure to subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed but hold on a minute like you're watching this video right now you've not subscribed like, why just don't don't give me a reason i don't want to hear it <laughs> i don't want to hear it. make sure to subscribe to our channel and also turn on post notifications to get notified when next we post till next time guys bye